Jesus Reigns TV, impacting, dominating, colonizing nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The prayer of a righteous man prevails. You're watching Faith Time with Yamkela Joseph, a servant of God in our time. Connect in faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What a marvelous time. What a marvelous hour. Family, my name is Yamkela Joseph and this is Jesus Reigns. God is about to raise a generation that is unapologetic. A generation that is not apologizing to walk in the power of the living God. Remember the Bible says that in the latter hour and in the latter time, the Lord will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Your young men and women will prophesy. Your old men dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. We are living in a time where the power of the living God, the spirit of the Father, has fallen unto the sons of men. And we all have to understand that we are in a prophetic hour and God is ready to change many lives so today I want to speak to you about the seven dimensions of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the governor of the supernatural ministry is the one that is guiding us to be what God has called us to be Jesus said we know that the Father is spirit and those that worship him worship him in spirit and in truth so right now I want you to understand that without the Holy Spirit, there is no effective Christianity. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no power. That's why Jesus said to his disciples, do not go, but wait in Jerusalem until you receive power power from on high when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. The Holy Spirit is the driver of the miraculous power of God in our time. So I want to teach you about the seven dimensions, the seven characters that the Holy Spirit begins to reveal himself in any believer's life or even in a child of the living god go with me in the book of isaiah number 11 isaiah 11 isaiah 11 verse number two now the bible says the spirit of the lord will rest on him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and strength the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord now i want to repeat it again the spirit of the lord will rest on him a spirit of wisdom and understanding a spirit of counsel and strength a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. These are seven dimensions of the Holy Spirit. I want you to, to take you through each dimension that the prophet Isaiah speaks about when he speaks about the Holy Spirit. The first dimension of the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. So the first thing you have to understand, the first dimension of the Holy Spirit, he is the Spirit of the Lord. He is the Spirit of the Father. He directs us straight to the Maker. He makes us to understand and to know who He is. That's why the Bible says, and now we know that the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The second dimension of the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Wisdom. A Spirit of Wisdom. When the Holy Spirit comes, He manifests as the Spirit of Wisdom. He gives you insight and power of application of the Word of God. He gives you defense and He enlightens you about what should be done and how it should be done. 
he is the spirit of wisdom the, the third dimension of the holy spirit he is the spirit of understanding he gives us understanding of mysteries of the of the lord the bible says he is the ultimate teacher and therefore he teaches us understanding he gives us the ability to understand so the prophet Isaiah said he is the spirit of the Lord the one who comes to direct us to God then he is the spirit of wisdom giving us insight of application of the knowledge then in the spirit of understanding giving us the power to perceive and to know opening our eyes to see the mysteries and the truth of the Word of God that's why in the way of a mouse the man could talk with Christ but they did not know him because Jesus is not revealed just by knowledge he's revealed by understanding meaning unless your eyes of understanding are enlightened you can't know him so the Holy Spirit is the spirit of understanding the second the, the fourth dimension of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the spirit of counsel he comes to give us godly counsel he comes to give us godly direction he comes to point us unto the right path he comes to give us the right advice the right wisdom the right application that's why Jesus said to his disciples when they take you to prison do not be worried of what you will say because the spirit that is within you that is of the father will speak for you and will speak whatsoever that cometh from above so the holy spirit is a spirit of counsel he is the advocate so when you have the holy spirit you are going to get wise counsel so the the fifth dimension of the holy spirit he is the spirit of strength he gives strength the bible says in the book of isaiah number 40 the young man will faint and the youth shall actually uh, fall but they that wait upon the lord he will renew their strength they will mount up like eagles run and never be weary walk and never faint the holy spirit is the spirit of strength he is the one that renews our 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 our, our strength towards the lord our strength strength to pray our strength to read the word of God our strength to worship God comes by the renewal of the Holy Spirit in our lives the second the, the sixth dimension of the Holy Spirit he is the spirit of knowledge the Bible says he is the reservoir of all treasures of knowledge hidden in Christ Jesus. He is the revelator. He is the one who reveals the depths of God in our lives. So the Holy Spirit is a spirit of knowledge. That's why he is the teacher, the comforter, and the helper. He knoweth all things because he takes all things from the Lord our Father. So when you have the Holy Spirit in your life, you are going to be exposed to the dimension of knowledge of the Holy Ghost so the last and the perfect thing of the Holy Spirit the seventh dimension of the Holy Spirit he is the spirit of the fear of the Lord now the Holy Spirit when he comes he restores the fear of God in your life he restores the reverence of God he restores the honor of the Lord in a believers life so when you are filled of the Holy Ghost you begin to be restored in your reverence in your fear of the Lord so the way you look at God is different because the Holy Spirit makes you to be no to know God in a very 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 uh, marvelous way so that knowledge that knowledge that begins to come to you of who God is gives you the ability to become somebody who has great reverence for the living God so right now as I'm speaking to you I want you to understand that these are the seven dimensions of the Holy Spirit this is how he manifests he manifests as the Spirit of the Lord he manifests as a spirit of wisdom he manifests as a spirit of strength he manifests as a spirit of understanding and counsel then he manifests as a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord when you now understand the seven dimensions of the Holy Spirit you will begin to see this 
these seven characters in your life you will be wise you will know the Lord you will have the right counsel you will fear the Lord your strength will be renewed and your life will never be the same again so right now I want to pray with somebody who say I want this character of the Holy Ghost to be seen in my life I want the Holy Spirit to manifest in the seven dimensions in my life so that I walk in the fullness of what the Spirit is in my life so right now I want you to stretch your hands towards me as I pray for you Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for my friend and the my viewers all over the world wherever they are watching heavenly father i decree and i declare right now the holy spirit is manifesting in their lives with the spirit of strength spirit of wisdom and understanding right now by the blood of jesus i command that the holy ghost is falling upon their lives in the name of jesus spirit of the father spirit of the lord holy spirit of god i pray right now that you begin to manifest in their lives begin to show them who you are begin to manifest in your seven direct dimensions in the blood of jesus christ we pray thank you holy ghost thank you father family i want to say to you just as i've just prayed for you the holy spirit will begin to manifest in your life like never before remember this is jesus friends and don't forget to subscribe turn on your notifications so that you get every teaching that we give in this channel may the lord bless you may the lord make his face shine upon your life until i see you next time my name is yamkela joseph shalom shalom